I think why the V-beam is so special and why it's, it's one of the leaders of all lasers is the technology. You know, Candela really makes amazing devices. Um, when you look at the V-beam, it really works at, with physics. It targets um, the oxyhemoglobin and it's been so well studied through the years by Candela and many doctors and scientists. So it gets the job done. The V-beam Prima is a tremendous leap in technology. You know, a lot of times we'll see devices come out and there's an incremental improvement. It's like, okay, this is a big deal. This is a completely redesigned laser. It's not the next generation. I mean, it is really a new generation. The V-beam is tried and true. It's still the gold standard for a variety of conditions. Yeah, one thing I like about the V-beam is the range of treatments. It has a whole host of FDA indications. So in a given day, again, we might treat patients with rosacea. We can treat patients with the blood vessels and spider veins. Uh, we can even treat patients with warts. Um, we get, there are certain settings you can use for warts. Uh, we, since we do a lot of surgery in our office and we encounter a lot of patients and follow up with scars that are pinker than they like, it's an excellent option for reducing the pinkness on scars and other issues, other lesions like stretch marks. So in the course of the day, you can use it a lot for a lot of different things. The laser functions beautifully for a very long period of time before it needs to be, you know, have a dye change or, or be seen by a technician. The redesigned laser not only means I can deliver 50% more energy with the spot sizes I'm using and do it reliably so the laser doesn't slow down or have issues, but it allows me to use very big beam diameters up to 15 millimeters. And what that means is, you know, most people think, whoa, I can treat faster, which is true. But that's not really exciting, that's just convenience. What's exciting is the whole physics changes and biology of the interaction of the laser with the skin, meaning, what does that mean? I think I'm seeing better results, better clinical results. My patients think they're seeing better clinical results. The larger spot size itself, and now with a 15 millimeter spot size, where the largest size before was only 12 millimeters, the dye life is longer. Uh, this is all very important for good and effective and consistent treatments. And the fact that you only have to calibrate once a day is a very big deal. Uh, I find in my practice that I'm constantly changing the parameters of the laser uh, and the delay that is required, particularly in the middle of a treatment, uh, is sometimes timely uh, and a little bit cumbersome. And now with the ability to calibrate once a day, my treatments will be much quicker and more effective. One of the advantages of the new V-Beam Prima is going to be the addition and option of contact cooling. Contact cooling has some advantages over uh, other types of cooling, whether it's cold air or the cryogen spray. One of the advantages is comfort. There is a sense of comfort from contact between the gel and the handpiece in the skin. I think patients like that feeling. Uh, secondly, the contact cooling uh, provides cooling just before and after the pulse because typically there's a little lead uh, sapphire before and after the spot size so they get this nice pre and post treatment cooling. And, and thirdly, you can actually treat now pigmented and vascular lesions in one pass with the device. One of the issues with dynamic cooling is it's so good it actually overcools the epidermis when you're treating a lintigo. So with contact cooling, it's a nice sweet spot where it's just enough cooling to keep the epidermis safe, but not so much cooling that you overcool the lintigo. So now with one pass, you can actually find a sweet spot of settings with the Prima that will achieve pigment reduction and vascular lesion reduction without having to do two or three passes, which makes it more practical for the patient and the physician. I'm a Mohs surgeon, so I do a lot of surgery on my patients. So when I think of the V-beam, I think of a host of indications, but first and foremost, my surgical scars. I treat every single patient with the V-beam, knowing that it will help to attain improved cosmesis and therefore happy patients. My recommendation of the V-beam is based upon consistency, safety, efficacy, and a broad range of indications where the treatment simply works and works extremely well. I recommend the V-Beam for a number of reasons. One, it's extremely safe to use. Two, the results are very consistent. Three, the results are proven time and time again. Uh, and four, there's just broad acceptance for so many indications. As a dermatologist, I'm involved in training future dermatologists. I teach surgery to the residents and teach procedure to many of the residents. And very often, as, patient, as the residents are graduating, they'll ask, you know, if I can only get one laser when I start at my practice, what should it be? And 
for, forever, my answer has always been, if you're only gonna get one laser, you should get the V-beam. I use the V-beam, I do about 40 laser treatments a day, every day, five days a week, and I probably use the pulse dye on about 30 of those treatments every day. And it's because um, they, it's, there are so many uses and there's very few skin conditions when you really start getting into them that don't have um, erythema or telangiectasia or blood vessel as part of the problem and the V-beam is part of the solution. I could be here all day telling you all the things that the V-beam can do and there's no other laser that has that breadth and depth of treatment options. The V-Beam is the workhorse in my practice. It's a proven technology that delivers results very safely and reliably. It's something that you wind up using every day, which is one of those things with a laser, you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth out of it. It's a laser that can both work in the medical dermatology market, also in the cosmetic market. So in that sense, it's very versatile on a day-to-day -day basis. And we really leave it on all day because it's impractical to turn it off and back on. So it kind of hums in the background all day, ready to go to work.